the timer. All right, so we're now go into the obvious. I'm from Jamaica, so right now I'll be talking from a Jamaican experience. Earlier this vlog October, I did a video about working for free, you know, talking mostly helping people to understand probably the businesses side of how they interpret working with you. Recently on Twitter, I saw people talking a lot about the struggles of working in unpaid internships. Even when I made that first video, knew that I would have to eventually do another video that kind of balances it out talking about the disadvantages of working for free. I have never personally worked an unpaid internship. Um, I've been blessed to have never been faced with work like that. I have been approached to do jobs for exposure, some which I've done but I've realized, I realized really earlier out in my career that a lot of people who approach me for jobs for exposure is literally just code work for me working free and them making a promise that they just have no intention to fill so let's like talk about that it's important to be able to identify when someone is not interested in your growth like at all that's something that you have to be able to perceive and something you have to be real about and something you have to be confident about addressing people care about themselves that's just a natural thing but you have some employers that when they bring you on or they bring on new employees it's probably in their mind that eventually some employees will leave and then there will be some upward mobility from people working at the lower going up and you know as they move up in the ranks they should be compensated or are interested in rewarding people who work hard and give and incentivize them to raise their positions or bring their talents to a, a closer core to whatever the business endeavor is those are primarily good environments where you know your input into the business will eventually be rewarded what i'm trying to say is not every employer is like that realistically there are some employers that you serve to fill a gap Say you're an intern and you work really hard at that job and they're literally probably just waiting for you to get frustrated and once you get frustrated they just move on to the next hopeful bright-eyed person to fill the position until they get tired and move on they don't care about what your living conditions are they're not cognizant of how it is that you get here or how you leave here they don't care about whatever you're going through upward mobility is not something that crosses their mind when they think about you these employers you need to avoid them you need to avoid them completely i have worked with people that you know my goals are not my goals are not a priority to them my goals are on the back burner to them and i mean i'm not expecting someone to go to bed at night wondering about what my goals are but when i speak to them about you know making sure that that's an agreement is level meaning they are getting what they want from the agreement and i'm getting what i want from the agreement or both of us are getting an what we find to be a fair trade between services and pay or whatever the exchange is you know at least in the corporate world what i find out is that footing is not equal because businesses already kind of have what they want primarily people to work people desperate their money their income is coming in and you as a small intern it to, to them it's just negligible there's holy for other people that will fill your position i'm not telling anybody to go freelance or not to work a nine to five maybe there's someone who's watching this who thinks about maybe getting leaving a nine to five and i'm not bashing it but i'm just I'm just explaining to you why I can't really get too jiggy with it. It's just the unequal footing 
it's just something that I just don't feel like anyone has any power in this situation where you can say I have brought this to the business and I think I deserve this how can you help me and some of them they won't really budge they'll just wait for you to get frustrated and put in your resignation paper and you're off I want to encourage you to be confident in your worth confident in your skills confident in the changing landscape that you won't have to put up with certain things for much longer with some people there is no progress and you have to be able to move on from that person you have to keep the ball moving if you see somebody is not budging and you say all right i'm giving this person three chances to work with a reasonable set of demands and you're not getting that from them know when to pull the plug i think that's super important i'm sorry that the world is like that so have a great week believe in yourself be determined don't make nobody style you and bless up yourself